the hammers were in full swing. All for good cause. So the students know that their work today is, is going to uh, construct a home for one of our partner families. A dozen high schools took part in the first annual high school build day for Habitat for Humanity. We're building prefabbing walls, and these are what uh, this is for the firewalls. And because a firewall cannot have an opening, it can't have a window or a door. So that's why uh, it's, it's fairly simple construction, but we need about 40 feet to every house. In other words, it's five, five walls to every house. And uh, we're going to be building some around 15 homes this year. That means they need to make 75 walls, a very important job that had the kids psyched to strap on a tool belt and hard hat. Woo! It feels good, like, you know, somebody that can't afford their own home is going to live in this, and we're helping make a difference in someone's life. And with actual construction staff on hand to help, students can add another tool to their educational toolbox. I've learned how to actually put a nail in a piece of wood. So that's pretty good and I've learned like the, the skill to it, I guess. And I just got my first one in, so it's exciting. <laughs> is it harder than you thought? Yeah, like my arm is shaking kind of, and that was after maybe an hour. It's definitely a big job and they might be sore now, but when that fades, it will be replaced by a sense of pride. We can tell them exactly where these uh, are going to be used and they can drive by and say, Dad, I worked on the, the uh, walls that are in that house. The next build will take place in July. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Blair Malstravich.